I mean, I'll give you several examples of sure. what we have done. Mm -hmm. uh, coming out of one of my roundtables around Ohio with farmers, uh, we discussed an idea they had on how to eliminate um, the the uh, far too um, well far too wasteful uh, farm subsidies that have gone to um, to mostly wealthy, profitable farmers, saving 22, 23 billion dollars. Uh, that's a significant contribution towards deficit reduction. Uh, we need to, um, I, I agree with my opponent, that we can bring some troops home from Europe. We're doing that already. We have to, do we, as, as we move troops back from Iraq and Afghanistan, that's significant savings. Uh, we need to, um, I think there's some significant savings in Medicare, where the drug comp, where we negotiate directly with the drug companies on the price of, um, the way the Veterans Administration does on the price of prescription drugs. Uh, and in addition to that, we, um, we need to start closing some of these tax breaks and taking away these tax breaks. The oil industry gets a tax break for, um, that, that was based on, well, on when um, energy was, when the cost of, of energy, or when the cost of oil was you know, 10 or $20 a, a barrel, now it's six or eight times that. They should get no tax breaks. We should eliminate those tax breaks for companies that shut down and go overseas. Uh, if you shut down a plant in Willowick or shut down a plant in Strongsville and move it to Wuhan or Xi'an, uh, you actually literally get to deduct the cost of the move. That makes no sense. It's those kinds of things. You know, unfortunately, though, a number of a number of politicians have signed a um, uh, signed a, a, a pledge to this. Um, if I could say it this way, fat cat lobbyists named Grover Norquist that they will never close tax loopholes. They will never increase taxes on upper income people. Um, and that's sort of giving away your right to think when you sign a pledge like that. And I think that's a major contrast between where I want to go to reduce the deficit, because you, you really do need a balanced approach. And that, that includes revenues, it includes still closing tax loopholes, it includes, includes saving money in Medicare, it includes making some cuts. And uh, we need to do, it includes the farm subsidy issue, for example. Mm -hmm.